Kendall. Hey, hey, not, hey, not, wait not, a second. Not now, Griff, wait a not second. Now. I know where you're going. Great, great, good for you. Can you let me go, no, please? No, no, you got that scary look in your eye. I'm not going to let you go after David Hayward until that look is gone. Don't worry, I don't have a gun, uh, I don't have a pillow, okay? I just want some answers, all right? Hold on. Have you even considered that David isn't the person that you should be talking to? Well, I'm not gonna talk to him, I'm gonna scream at okay. him. Maybe, maybe you should get some information from your mother first. Find out her reasoning before you go off on David. You said it yourself, she's been acting odd lately. Yeah, well, not just, just odd. I mean, she's, she's been completely avoiding me and Bianca. She, she's been doing everything she can to play to the tabloids. And we caught her drinking again. Yeah, she hasn't been herself since she's been kidnapped. No. Has she? No. no, and David's been taking advantage of that. Ever since he found out I was the one who really shot him. Well, you know what? It's gonna stop. It's gonna stop right now. Well, you don't waste any time, do you? I never do. You've got that fire in your eyes, Kendall. In my imagination, I picture you looking just like that the night that you shot me in the back. Hmm. Okay, that's what this is all about. My mother covered for me that night, and you're using her to do whatever you want. You couldn't be more wrong. Actually, I was hoping we could use this as a chance for us to get past all that. I don't believe a word out of your mouth. And why is that? Since I saved your life and the life of your son? And how did you repay me? By trying to kill me? Now I would think that you'd be happy with my peace offering. I would if I believed a word of what you said. But you lie as easily as you breathe, David, and I know that you're up to something else and you're using my mother to do it. I don't have to worry about Erica. Your mother knows exactly what she's doing. But maybe there's another reason why you're here. Are you hurting, mm. Kendall? Well, you know what? Don't pull that crap with me, okay? I know you're blackmailing her. Ask her yourself. She'll refute it. I'm just saying that maybe there's some unfinished business between you and me and maybe Zach. Right, stop. Stop. I was in a very bad place when I pulled that trigger. I thought my life was over. Well, sometimes we think life is over when it's not. Well, the man who was responsible for Zach's death is now behind bars, so I have my life back. If you're such a great healer, then act like one. Make sure my mother does not regret her choice. Show this town the man who saved my life and my son's life. Should I detect this as an offer for a truce? Just don't screw my mother over, and maybe we all have a shot at working things out. Everything okay? That all depends on your mentor here. Kendall and I have reached an understanding of sorts. More like a wait and see. Don't screw her over. Don't. Okay, I have to go to Fusion, so why don't you stick around here and keep an eye on your old buddy? <clears throat> Look, I know you're enjoying your first day back at work. And I've given you all the support I can. But don't make me regret it. And why do you care, Doctor? You're leaving town, remember? Giving up your chance at greatness. Thank you. Hi, Paul. Um, have you seen my mom anywhere around here today? Yeah, she was in here earlier with Dr. Hayward and Mr. Montgomery. Oof. Oof. All right. Uh, could I have a virgin doctor? I'll have whatever's on top. Thank you. Don't worry, I'm not stalking you. Oh, there goes my fun. What's wrong? Something happened today with David after I left? He knows how to push my buttons. I knew he never lets an opportunity go by where he can't give me a jab. Something strange happened today. When I looked at David, I suddenly... Didn't want to kill him. <laughs> it's progress. Now, you have no idea. This is huge. I just realized that I have to let go of the past. Nothing's going to bring Zach back. 
And David is just a man, an ambitious, infuriating man who I really shouldn't waste my time with. It's even more progress. Do I sound like I'm trying to convince myself? Not at all. So, are we on the Miranda Center clock, or are we officially off duty? Does it matter? Not really.